Okay, so I start with putting down some plaster and I go in with a sponge to make the texture more interesting. And I've added some colors to the plaster to build up some different uh, background colors. And I will apply two to four different layers with plaster. And here you can see I've added two layers of plaster in two different colors. And now I'm making a mix of wooden glue with water and a dab of color. and I brush it into the plaster to make it harder. Just plaster can be very brittle. When the plaster is dried, we can start to sand it to remove the high spots to get a little bit smoother and more interesting uh, texture to the canvas. And now the fun part begins, we can start to add all the colors to the textures and I always start with the darker colors. I use black acrylic diluted with water and I use a brush to get the colors everywhere and while the colors are wet I use a sponge to wipe off the black access colors on the canvas to bring back the brighter highlights in the texture. And I do that a couple of times, going from darker to lighter colors. I use the sponge to pick up some uh, excess color and when the sponge is full of color I go and rinse it out with water and I do the process over again until I'm satisfied with the end result. Sometimes I go in with a sponge with some black color on it to dab around to build some more interesting uh, textures. And now we can start with the stencil. The stencil is made out of vinyl. It was all the material I had on hands when I was recording this. As you can see in the video, I cut out a girl and a boy, <laughs> uh, or a man and a woman, so in the stencil. I'm using uh, a black spray paint from Montana. And in the video right now, I'm just testing how it will look. And I think it will look really cool. And I made a second stencil to get some more variations to the canvas. This time I started to spray down a white color 
to get some white highlights because I will lift up the stencil to move it a bit to the side so I can spray black over it and it will have a small edge with white and it will look like highlights. You will see how it looks. And I will do the same with a woman and man. First I spray white to the canvas and move the stencil a bit to the side and then I spray the black color over it. And here you can see the result and I think it looks really cool with the effect of highlights. And uh, this is the placement I'm going for. And now we can start the weathering on the letters to make them dirty and fit into the darker themed canvas. So I start with an acrylic black diluted with water and work it into the letters to make them look really dirty. And I will squeeze out black color from a sponge on top of the letters to make a drip flow effect and make them stand out a bit more. And I will do the weathering effects a couple of times to build up an interesting textures on the letters. And you can use a lot of different colors like white, grey to build up some more textures but in this build I only did uh, the black. If you want to speed up the process and don't just stand around and look on colors drying you can always use a heat gun or a hair dryer to dry them out, out a bit faster. Just use a sponge to build up different layers and then dry the colors between and just work in different layers. And here are the finished letters. I'm really happy with the result. So now we can start to assemble the letters to the canvas. So I'm dragging the hemp cord through some black colors to give them the dirty look and fit in with the canvas theme. I drilled a hole in the canvas and put down the hemp cord into the hole and I'm using super glue to glue the hemp cord to the canvas to create the effect that she's holding the cord and connecting all the letters. And now we can start to play around with the placements of the hemp cord on the letters and we want them to look like there's a connection between all the letters. And when you're happy with the placement, we can glue the hemp cord in place. I'm using uh, super glue. And I'm using a heat gun to melt the hot glue stick and glue down the letters, and it works great.
I am aiming to create the effect that the letters look like balloons being held by the girl with a hemp cord tying them all together. I want it to feel like the cord is what's connecting the letters and making them float. If you found this video helpful or learned something new, I'd really appreciate if you would like to take a moment to subscribe and give it a like. It would mean a lot to me, but for now, let's go ahead and check out the final result.